I was gonna post them today, but after what happened, I don't wanna be called a bully again, so yeah. No, I don't wanna kiss him. Here's the thing, right? I don't know if men are so entitled to women's uh, affection and touch. I don't owe anyone a kiss. Well guys, it got worse. To the surprise of likely nobody whatsoever, a situation I talked about very recently has only managed to get worse. This year so far is just full of surprises, huh? A couple of days ago, I made a video about a situation on Twitch where a popular Twitch streamer named Sub Caitlin brought her mod Dilly onto one of her live streams and basically just degraded him and embarrassed him for an hour straight. If you've seen a clip from a Twitch stream over the last couple of days of a Twitch mod kissing a streamer, that's these people. I'd recommend you go and give that video a watch before this one. I'll leave a card in the top right corner. Otherwise, you'll be missing out on some pretty important context. However, I'll try to give you guys a real quick rundown on the situation just so we're all up to speed. So a couple of days ago, the Twitch streamer Sub Caitlin invited one of her Twitch mods, Dilly, onto a live stream. These are the people you're seeing in the background. They did a truth or drink stream that had a donation goal of $500, and if the donation goal was met, they were supposed to kiss each other. Now, the entire stream was kind of weird up to this point. A lot of strange questions were asked, a lot of weird jokes were made, and they were pretty much all at the expense of Dilly. But once this donation goal was met, it got a whole lot worse. Caitlin basically began to act like Dilly was some sort of repulsive animal that she could not bear the thought of kissing. And it took like 10 minutes of hyping herself up and screaming for anything to actually happen, and then when they did kiss, she ran off screaming, I need to go wash out my mouth. So basically just an entire stream of stuff that was probably not that good for old Dilly's self-esteem. Now obviously, the internet at large was not very happy with this stream, and she got a lot of crap for it, which resulted in her tweeting this out, but that's not where the explanations ended. The next day, her and Dilly did another stream where she doubles down on everything, and basically said that nothing she did is wrong, it's all just fun and games, and Dilly is perfectly okay with it. It's not a very convincing explanation, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. And so, that's not cool. Was dancing okay? I have videos. Um, I was too drunk to post them yesterday. I was gonna post them today, but after what happened, I don't want to be called a bully again. So yeah, Brandon girl, thank you for the reset. I'm all good, guys. Don't worry about me. I uh, oh, thank you for getting us up to Moist Critical. You know what's so? F I'm actually a huge Charlie fan. Uh, hi Jake, how are you? Uh, Jake can confirm he hung out with me and Dilly at the same time. I'm not a. F Bully. Okay, so she's really gonna hang onto this argument pretty heavily about how she is not a bully. If you saw the original video, I don't really know how you can perceive what she did as anything else. She's gonna harp on the fact that her and Dilly are friends in real life a lot, and that that's why all of this is okay, because it's an understood thing in their friendship. There is a difference between friendly banter and what seems like purposeful degradation. I think we've all probably known somebody like this before, maybe it was in middle school, but still I feel like everybody's been acquaintances with somebody like this, who is basically just a bully. They're mean and hateful and they try to bring you down all the time, but they play it off as, oh, that's just how I am with my friends. I don't think I've ever been friends with somebody who doesn't enjoy the kind of playful banter where you lightly make fun of each other. It's a very, very common thing in human relationships, which is why when it goes past that and it no longer seems friendly, most people can recognize it pretty easily. And that's what's happening here. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually a huge Charlie fan, so after that video, uh, I'm no longer. Uh, I just think that it's kind of f up to make a video about me bullying someone, right? Which, I, it was true, I mean, what I did in the video would be take it out of context and just watch a short clip of my stream. It looks like f bullying, right? But then you make a video that will get over a million views to send all the bullies to me, you know? So, is that kind of f is it not kind of f up, you think? All right, so obviously I do not have the reach or influence that Moist Critical or Charlie or Penguin Zero, whatever you know him as, has. But I've been on the receiving end of this argument many times. If you do something dumb or mean or something worth criticizing on the internet and somebody calls you out for it, you're not being bullied. It's called being held accountable. Now, obviously, some people go too far and they say things they shouldn't, but I, nor does any other content creator, have any sort of control over that whatsoever. I've made it very, very clear in my years of doing YouTube that I don't condone going and attacking people for videos I make, sending them mean DMs, sending them mean comments, anything like that. That's all I can do. That's all any content creator can do, really. Just like in my last video, there were people in the comments section saying mean things to me because I was talking about sub Caitlyn in a negative way. I'm not going to hold Caitlyn responsible for that because I doubt she's saying go leave mean comments on this YouTuber's video. That's just what some people do. It's an inevitable part of the internet. Um... Kate's been a great friend to me since I've been out here. 
who have had fun every single night. We, she's done things that she personally didn't want to do, but for me, she would do it. And um, you know what? We banter or like joke about with each other. That's like, I won't take it to heart because uh, me and her are still friends at the end of the day. And like, I have tough skin. And you know, and I just want to let y'all know that yeah, it words can be hurtful sometimes, but. I'm, I'm good. I'm great. All right. So. All right. So does anybody else see a pretty drastic difference in the way that Caitlin views this in the way that Dilly views this? She's talking about how nothing is serious. They're just friends. It's not bullying. But then he seems to basically straight up acknowledge that some of the stuff she says hurts him. He says, I know words can be hurtful, but at the end of the day, I'm good. Dude, you're literally admitting that she's hurting you. That's just not what friends do to each other. There are limits. Maybe I'm paying you to say this. I will. She's not paying me anything at all. I've never paid Dilly in my life. Um, but yeah, see, this is what I don't get, right? Dilly has stated, even before this stream, that he was okay with it. We talked when this shit was blowing up. I talked to him in person, like I said, right? And I asked him, like, do you have a problem? And yeah, he said, he said no. So if he's not mad, why are you guys mad? Like, he's obviously okay. He's fine. Why are you guys mad for him when he's not even upset? I don't think you guys are even mad about what happened. You guys are be mad at a person to be hateful, you know? Like, if he's not upset, why are you? You know, he's lying. You can be honest. You can roast me straight to my face. Say whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah, no. I mean, it, like, that's like, if I want to joke about it, I'll joke, right? Like, I might I might mess with her a lot today if I see something wrong with her cooking. Yeah. So, you'll, I think you'll see a little bit more of my actual self. <laughs> All right, so this is something I think I'm going to end up ranting about for a minute because I feel like maybe Caitlyn is not seeing this situation for what it is. Maybe I'm just speculating, but I have a pretty good feeling because the other night I was reading some comments and a lot of people seem to be kind of upset with me for saying that I don't really feel bad for Dilly, which is something I still stand by and I'm going to explain why. I feel like everybody, especially if you have a friend group that mostly consists of dudes, knows a Dilly. Me personally, I'm very close to my Dilly, so I've seen this kind of thing happen a lot. There's a certain brand of man out there who thinks the best way to get close to a woman is to be her personal doormat. Some of you are going to have a friend immediately pop into your mind and you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're basically just a punching bag. They do whatever they say. They're always there. It's basically just a one-way friendship to a person who doesn't even really see them as a friend, more just comedic relief. I've literally seen this kind of conversation go down between my Dilly and a girl he was interested in after he told me how much the stuff she says hurts him. And this is on the Dilly. Now, I'm not trying to turn Dilly into a term here. I'm just trying to make this easy to follow. And it doesn't matter what gender you are. It doesn't matter who you are. If you are a person who is like this, if you just let people treat you like this because you think it's going to get them closer to you, this is on you. All of this is to say, obviously, Dilly isn't going to say anything because if his situation is anything like all the Dillys I've seen in the past, he genuinely believes eventually this is going to work. Now, like I said, I could just be speculating here. Maybe Dilly and Caitlyn are an exception but I doubt it. Kiss that f***ing no! I don't want to kiss him! Here's the thing, right? I don't know if men are so entitled to women's uh, affection and touch. I don't owe anyone a kiss. The kiss is a troll thing I do. It's not the first time I've done it, by the way. I've done a lot of kissing donut goals with other guests I brought on. I act the same way with every f***ing kiss. I'm sure there's clips out there somewhere. I don't want to kiss him! I don't want to why would you say this, Caitlin? Now I have to make you look like a fool. I went on YouTube and I pulled up the only two clips I could find of you kissing anybody else. And here's what those look like. Are you sure? <laughs> this makes it more <laughs> trash. Yeah, yeah. Okay, come kiss Are you me. ready? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for $500. That was a really good kiss. What are you doing? What is wrong with this girl? Now, uh, I don't know about you guys, but to me, those aren't quite the same as Dilly's. I also don't really understand what her thought process is behind throwing in the men are so entitled thing here. Obviously, if you're a person who thinks a woman is entitled to kiss a man for whatever reason, you're insane. Like, that's not even up for debate, but that's not what this is. You, yourself, willingly made a donation goal where you accepted money to kiss your Twitch mod. And then once that happened, you made it seem like you were being forced to eat manure. If you don't want to do it, why would you make the Twitch goal in the first place? Nobody would judge you for not wanting to kiss somebody. Nobody. Nobody sane would do that. But you chose to do this for Twitch money. So don't try and turn this around into men being entitled. You made this choice willingly. Uh, it's not. And what's weird is I never said anything about Dilly's appearance literally ever. You watch the whole VOD, it's public. I've never once 
Oh, sorry, my cats are going crazy right now. I've never once roasted his appearance, right? So everyone's saying like, oh, he's not bad looking, he's not ugly. You don't want to kiss him because he's ugly. That's not even why. I've literally known this guy for so long. To me, he's like my little brother. You know what I mean? Like he's like my nerdy little brother. Why would I want to kiss someone that I see in like in a family almost way? But yeah, so I don't want to kiss so even, uh, not even trolling. I would never, we would never kiss each other. We're literally friends. It's like to the point where like siblings. So yeah. Okay, so having a platonic relationship with a woman, if you're a man or vice versa, is completely normal, and I do agree that the internet oftentimes makes it out to be way too weird. Normal, functioning humans can be friends with people of the opposite sex and not have any sort of ulterior motives. People seem to have forgotten that. However, saying this, while simultaneously having a donation goal visible in the bottom right corner, titled Dilly Sniffs My Laundry, which will be met during this stream, and at that point Dilly will sniff Caitlyn's panties, makes this entire segment a little hard to take seriously, I'm not gonna lie. So after this, she starts talking about how the videos that were made about her, especially Charlie's, were all just encouraging people to go bully her. She goes through some of her Instagram DMs and reads some of the stuff that people have sent her, and like I said earlier, obviously people who go that far are hypocritical and they're not doing the right thing, but once again, somebody calling you out for doing something is not encouraging you to be bullied. Then she does what might be my least favorite thing that I see all the time on the internet. I swear I see this sentiment pop up in every single internet situation ever, the idea that two bad things can't coexist. She basically says that she can't be called the bully here because people are saying worse things to her. You can both be a bad person and also be the victim of people who are worse than you. Both of these things can be true. It doesn't automatically make what you did good though. She then closes all of this out by basically repeating what she was saying earlier, how everything she says is just all in good fun and that it's all just a joke, but honestly, I'm just not buying it. I can buy that she really thinks it's just a joke and it's all just a game to her, but what she is saying to the people around her, I guarantee you, is hurting them. A lot of the times, people who act like this, who are just mean to everybody, they do think it's a game, they do think it's okay, because I guess they think everybody's in on it. And you know what? Dilly might say he's in on it, but unfortunately, the guy's not that good of an actor, because you can tell he's not. Well guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this entire situation? Hopefully, I'm so wrong, I'm gonna end up feeling silly. You know, maybe they really do just have a one in a million relationship where she can absolutely dog on him 24 seven and he's perfectly fine with it. It's unlikely, but hey, maybe. They did seem a little more cordial during this VOD than the drunk stream, I will say that, but I can't say I'm fully on board. Does that matter? Not really, but I'm still gonna say it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything, but for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Thank you.